As usual, we nailed it, right? I feel like you have to make a really <laughs> stupid face when you sing that. Because <laughs> you really have to, like, hit... You have to go Celine Dion with it, right? You have to, like, hit those notes. I'm going to have it stuck in my head the rest of the day now. We have it stuck in our head because we did a... Well, it's not even... I think, a TikTok, I think someone, it originated from TikTok, but a, a, a listener sent it to us, and she, they were like, you have to do this challenge. And it was the two people leaning up against each other, trying to pour Hard wine. Hard to explain, but yeah. Yeah, You'll you see. had a wine glass in your mouth trying uh-huh. to pour it into my mouth, and mm-hmm. we have some bloopers. We've got some bloopers. And you put I, it to that music. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty fucking funny. It's funny. We did it with red. A lot of people do it with white because that's the better option. Yeah. But you are going to spill it. Fuck it. We said fuck We're it. We're gangsters. As usual, we said fuck it. Plus, it was all the wine that we had. But yeah. anyways, we also are gangster, but... That was the only bit of wine that we have. But yeah, yeah, but also that I had in my for car. sure. Mm-hmm. Was that from last night? That's all you drank? Yeah. If I open a bottle, it is done. Is it? Oh. Yeah. And well, that's a half a bottle never sits around at my it house. It was slowly <laughs> drinking the wine, you know, trying to take the picture in the lady boner shirt, being Got in the it. hot tub, talking to the husband. So just Got like. Got it. Yeah. So you kind of like, if you're hanging out, I've noticed that about you. Like if you're hanging, dancing, whatever, you don't really drink that much. If it's when sitting. we're sitting. Sitting. Well, well, then it's like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you're just constantly sure 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 i think that's the same for me too like if i'm at dinner i'll end up like i'm like oh shit i just ordered three glasses yeah but if i'm like Correct. at home doing it uh, whatever i'll be honest there's some times where i'm at dinner and we're all just talking and sitting there and i'm drinking the booze and i'm yeah. sitting there going if i drank water as quickly and as much as this i would be hydrated all the time super hydrated right super healthy never gonna happen right that's why i try to drink out of straws because i think it does something different oh yes <laughs> right it slows I don't... it down a little bit does it to me i, I feel know. like i drink more out of a no, straw it's faster is it if you drink beer i've done this before like drink beer out of a straw you get so fucked up what yeah because you can't like i don't know what it is when i you didn't do know it that as as kids i feel as kids. super bougie drinking out of a str- like you know what i mean yeah because you have to or if you have the wine glass in the straw it's like what all oh, the hoity-toity housewives. housewives do not to mess up their lipstick and everything i've learned it's from the housewives i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing it's probably both it's probably both <laughs> yeah um what was your favorite franchise again was it new atlanta new york no beverly hills um it's between beverly hills i think and oc and oc the a OGs. little bit yeah 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 I do like New York. I like New York, too, but they have definitely gone downhill. We can recap TV another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, Well, welcome. (laughs) Thank you. Thanks for having me, Tiffany. I'm really happy to be on the (laughs) show. Shut the fuck up. um, You know, it's just an honor that you even asked me. No. Um, (laughs) Welcome. Welcome to Drinking Broettes. Today, Mm -hmm. we are actually brought to you by Express VPN. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You have ExpressVPN, right? Yep. To We all have it. They've sponsored all of our shows across the media company for a while. So we all know that they're, it's, it's just an app that runs on your computer, your phone, whatever, yep. that helps with security. But now a new feature that's really piquing my interest with them yeah. is that you can also unlock shows and movies from other countries that you couldn't get to. Correct. I don't know why this blew my mind, but it did. Because it like, hides your IP address. Right. Right. Which and you certain know. certain things yeah. are only allowed in your IP address, which gives you, you know, the the area that you live in. Canadian Netflix. <laughs> I know. You're welcome. Canadian. Just I give it a little look-see. There's different stuff on there. British Netflix has, like, Doctor Who and stuff. Just saying, if you like that kind oh, of yeah. stuff. If you're an Anglophile. But anyway, I thought that was kind of a cool thing. And they kind of explain how to do it. So go to expressvpn.com slash broettes. You're going to sign up for a year, but you're going to get three months free, which is amazing. You can kind of check it out, see if it works for you. I promise within the first three months, you will get... Uh, a situation will happen where you'll go, thank fucking God I had ExpressVPN yep. every single time. It protects you. It keeps you secure. It hides that IP address. And all the cookies that are downloading all the information. Those damn I feel cookies. Like, you know who would like this is dads. Dads oh, everywhere. Yes. My dad's always like, protect yourself on the internet. People are always watching. They're That's always getting your so information. Funny. Dads would love this shit. My dad would freak. Oh, they're skeptical of everything, right? <laughs> no, my dad. Everything that comes up. Uh, hey, why are you taking that picture? Don't You better not post it on the you interwebs. Better not post it. You know they get you. That's how they find you. That's what my dad always says. <laughs> Me too. It's his birthday today. We'll say shout Aww. out to Dan the man, Dan Wiseman. 
Just Happy birthday, Dan! Chilling in Ojai, dude. Aww. Business is usually still working, still smoking yeah. weed, still. Oh, he good cannot for him. play disc golf because they closed the fucking disc golf course. Fuck them. Fuck them, yeah. dude. But anyways, uh, this birthday shout out is brought to you by expressvpn.com slash broets. B-R-O-E-T-T-E-S. Get three months free. Anyways, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to. No, I like. You sound it. so much it. better than me when you no, do it. I do so I was like, Ro- welcome. I do that to Ross all the time. I'm like, thanks for having me on your show. <laughs> with him though, he just goes with it. This right? is your show. I'm just lucky to be no, here. This is your show. <laughs> this is our show, girl. Yeah. Um. So, what's going on? How was your evening? You know what? Um. I think we do need to start this segment. I. So there's so many segments that I feel like we this, yeah. keep coming up with. But I don't know if it was, we were on the phone, if we were on the podcast. I think just when we were on the phone. Probably. I can never tell And anymore. I was like, oh, Dr. Jesse. We should have like a Dr. Like Jesse, something. like a Dr. Phil segment where people call I'm in. in. I'm in. And they ask for relationship advice or anything. Yeah. And we try to give we'll try. something based upon like, it's so much fun. It's so funny sometimes how it's so easy to give great mm. advice. And then when you sit there, you're like, why don't I fucking take my own? Dude. <laughs> like if, if I did. Right. Right? I know. But it's why is it so hard to see? I know. It's something. Even Dan was talking about I think this, it's because sometimes, like, sometimes we're so stubborn. I, th- I think. Well, feelings blind you a little bit. And that's with do. everything. That's kind of what's happening right now a little bit with this quarantine stuff. It's yeah. like our emotions blind us sometimes to yeah. big pictures where we're like, but we love him. And you're like, he's a Nigerian prince. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, you are have you not sure? talked no, on the phone at on all. The phone. Like, I love him. And you're like. Mm. You don't even have a real picture of him. But it's just like, right? Mm-hmm. I saw this on 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. And this lady, older gal, she's just wants some love and met this guy. Oh, God. People. And he was Nigerian. Have so much hope. They'll, they'll I know. They'll believe anything. And that's what blinds you, I think. Yeah. So the hope of it, uh, the emotions, love really, really, really is blind. Like mm-hmm. all the red flags. Now, when we when we take love out of our like exes like yep. relationships that we had we go Dude. you see the whole relationship differently you're like oh my god well like, even yesterday when i was explaining the situation to you you go that's a really big red flag and i was like i, was like, I know and you go you still stayed with him i was like i married him my god i, I eventually married him i've done it a million with times. my ex-husband a and you times. were like well, those red flags are super they're sexy they're sexy i do love a red flag <laughs> so like, like oh and i used to love them so much more oh i was so pathetic your and eyes just blind open. to shit when i was younger I you really open was. your eyes a little bit more as you get older, but it doesn't, I don't think it ever changes. Like if there's enough emotion there, we know close friends right now that are dealing with it yeah. where mm-hmm. God, it's just like between sex and love and just well, wanting companionship. Like you overlook so many things. You know, I honestly think it is too. Sometimes is people like to fix things or change. Sure. People, there's that. And we all like to think that like, you know what? They're kind of a work in progress. I can help. I them. like, yeah, I'm totally going to change them. I'm Something mind. different for me. It feels like you're accomplished. It's yeah. never going to happen. Oh, that's the thing. Let's girls. just be real. They're not going. No, they will only change if they really want to and they love you. You're not going to make and them. And it takes years. Like, by the way, like in marriage, we were talking <laughs> yeah. We were talking about this yesterday. Like, it takes a long time to tweak two people to get to the point where they're kind of a little bit on the same page. And even then. Yeah. We're going to need some counseling. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Even then. So if you have that much shit going on before, imagine what that first year I know. of marriage. Well, we I talked mean, about it last probably time. probably lived it. What right? you start off with, right, is how it's going to continue. Mm-hmm. And it, I look at that and I even look at Chris and I. Chris and I start off as re- like really good friends and we start off really uh, like on a great foot. So you can always go back to that. You have to have that foundation. Correct. My ex and I started off like pretty toxic oh sounds like it you know what that i mean a little bit you, the story you that, told that, me that wasn't even that was kind of like when we were dating a oh, little before you were married oh even before like i chased after him and he was super rude to me and then i like i stopped chasing after him and then he chased after me and then i didn't want him anymore it was like a, you know what i mean and i was Which told so and fun by the way here's oh. what's really fun is he i'm was, not joking he was in my I know, yeah it was no i'm serious <laughs> he was in my career field and all the guys like by the way like no one really said as much until like we finally were divorced and everyone was like he was a shit bag exactly you and can't. i'm like why didn't you tell me you but can't. there was a few guys that were like you shouldn't date you just shouldn't date him they didn't say anything about him but they're like you just shouldn't date him and then later on after we did get divorced they're like we fucking told you i'm like you didn't tell me shit i know but you know how that goes right no because i know 
Yeah. I've I mean, definitely been in a place where I've said something about, you know, like they say they're broken up. They come over, you know, your girlfriend comes over to your house and you're like, that motherfucker. Like I, you say everything yeah. right. Then they get back together. Yeah. And then they can't hang out with Jesse anymore because Jesse fucking hates, yeah, hates yeah, You know yeah. what I mean? So I've definitely learned to not until you actually get the divorce, right? Mm-hmm. You cannot say yeah what you really feel because those you're gonna be the bad guy sure you're never gonna be the good guy that told them yeah well and here's the thing too is like let's be realistic how many people actually listen to these things you know it kind of goes one ear out one ear in and out the next like well you know like i'm different and because you know things will change how do you feel things will change yeah boom. <laughs> hey. I did knock yourself out so how do you feel how did you feel on that wedding day like can you remember being like oh i oh. know i remember well i mean do we want to go into it? Let's go into it. I mean, we we can if you want. Let's but go into like, it a little bit. Where so you, yeah. I got lied to about why we should get married. Oh, that's right. So our entire relationship was built on lies. Oh, lie. That's right. So he lied to me and told me that he was going to be uh, PCS possibly to Korea. Um, he was told by this from a chief, like under the table deal. Sure. And if we didn't get married soon, he was going to be PCS to Korea, which is permanently moved. Okay. And that we wouldn't be to be able to be together anymore we were going to get married in august right Mm -hmm. um of 2012 i think it was and um we ended up getting married in february because of we rushed it oh shit type of thing and i remember like calling up my parents and feeling like super uneasy and not and sure but like, my mom doesn't feel right yeah, yeah but my mom's like well you guys are getting married anyway and i was like okay well Might i guess we'll, we'll try, push it like up. try yeah. and i felt so uncomfortable that day and i like you know it it was just it felt rushed it didn't feel right like you know have to get that pit in your stomach yeah. i actually even honestly have like the pit in my stomach right now thinking about it because i'm like why didn't i just i didn't really ask follow-up questions i just trusted him so he just said that that happened mm-hmm. and then did you think you so does that mean, though, if you guys get married, he doesn't go? Or do you guys both go? Correct. So, like, no, no, no. You, oh, okay. He won't go because you have okay. now, like, this co- it's called like, a joint you. spouse okay. code where you just, where they keep you together. That's why a lot of military people get mm-hmm. married. Okay. Is that's why they get married because they keep Kinda them quickly. together at the okay. same area. And then also, like, some people get married quickly because you get extra money. Right. There's and all different. the spouse gets, like, um medical coverage and like okay. all the other so if someone's sick if something the nice shit on base they can get on oh. base is cheaper so okay. like listen i was young i was dumb i was blind to things that i shouldn't have been i it, looking back i learned a lot sure so um we end up having like the official wedding in august and like only a few people knew like including my parents mm-hmm. that we were already we were already married, already married. but no joke. I'm sitting there drinking a vodka Sprite before the wedding, which, by the, the way, the August one or the first the one? The August one. Okay. And I paid for the entire wedding with my bonus, with my steer bonus. I paid $21,000 for it. He didn't pay, he paid $1,000. Mm-hmm. Um, his parents, he didn't invite his parents. He like refused. His dad kept trying to contact me, which I, again was another like red flag. His dad kept trying to contact me and say like him and his, you know, his brother wanted to come and he, my ex wouldn't let him. His mom that was supposedly, like, killed herself, right? Uh-huh. Which is why we stayed together. Yeah. I mean, this is this is a whole other story, too. He said his mom killed, killed so, herself. Uh, yeah. After we... I broke up with him. Uh-huh. He then told me his mom committed suicide. Committed suicide. I felt terrible. I was there for her. I comforted sure, him. Sure, we sure. ended up staying together because of it. Yeah. Later on, he then told me that his mom faked his suicide. Yeah. And is alive. And that she was alive. And the only reason why she faked the suicide is because she was trying to get out of paying child support for his younger brother. And she was conning his dad. And I was like, oh, my God, your family's crazy. And you purposely would tell these stories about his family to, like, keep me away from them, even though his family kept reaching out to me and trying to get a hold of me. Well, I hate to ask this, but, like, so once the mom commits suicide, did you ask about, like, funeral, oh, funeral absolutely. arrangements? Oh, absolutely. And are because, we going to no, go to fuck yes, my mom. Yes. She's a bitch. She took her life. Like, how dare her? It's she only left- funny because she's alive. Well, no, do you know what I mean? Like, and I, I was so shocked how angry he was. I'm telling you, like, he was a very good actor. Tiffany. Dude, I know. And by the way, we were broken up for two weeks. And I was like, you need to move out. Like, you know what I mean? And he still wouldn't move out because he couldn't. Oh, he also shoot. lied to move in. Like, I, these are all things I found later on. That everything was just built on lie after lie like after this lie. Was you, the, the mom committing suicide was before the wedding? Yes. Oh, yeah. This is way, like, yeah. Way before. And then 
you know, the story like continued on where just one day we were in the kitchen. He was like, uh, uh, I have some really crazy news. I was like, what? He's like, my mom's actually alive. She's in Colorado. She's running from the cops. I got called by the Colorado like, yep. Have you ever to this day met his mom? No. She reached out to me on Facebook though. Okay. And was like, she read. So yeah. So here we are like his mom, some con woman running from the cops. The day before our wedding in August, she reaches out to me on Facebook and was like, hey, Tiffany, you're marrying my son. I wish you guys the best, blah, 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 blah. And I went to my mom in the bathroom and I said, mom, how is this woman running from the cops and apparently some con woman and she's on fucking Facebook? And mom goes, listen, let's just fucking forget about it. You guys are already married. Right. We're going to have a great time at the wedding. Let's sure. talk about this later because apparently there's a lot of drama with this family right now because it was a causing a lot of w- waves and ripples. And uh-huh. my mom's just like, let's just forget about it. And I was like... Oof. okay yeah right. so i'm sitting there before like i'm about to walk down the aisle after we take all the pictures i'm sitting with my dad and my dad can read me like a book and he's right. like what's wrong i was like i don't feel good yeah i was like I don't, this doesn't feel right yeah and i don't know if because it was more official that i just like felt it or if like certain things like continue to keep happening right right that just kept popping up yeah and i was like dad i don't think i want to get married he goes sweetheart i hate to tell you this but you're already married yeah and I was just like, oh, my God. And he's like, listen, your whole family's here. We love you. We support you. Let's just, unfortunately, let's just, like, you know, I was just like, let's just go through it. Yeah. It's done. What's done is done. Yeah, and, because if you had not been married, mm-hmm. cool, let's not do it. And don't get me wrong. It was, like, one of the best nights of my life with my family. With your family. He wasn't, once we, like, cut the cake and did everything and, like, I did a cute little, like, fun dance for him. Like, call me maybe with his, all of his groomsmen, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. surprise him with it. Like, he was gone the rest of the night. I don't know where the fuck he was. He didn't dance with me. Like, you know, he didn't hang out with anyone. He was hang- drinking with his buddies. I paid for the lodge next door and rented that out for everyone and his friends. And including the whole night, he didn't, he didn't even come to bed with me that night. I woke up at 6 a.m. to him coming in the room. And I'm like, where the fuck were you? Gosh, I have to say I'm a little jealous of this drama. You know what Sounds I mean? Sounds fun. Oh, yeah. Such a blast. So. I'm kidding, but I'm kind of not kidding. Like, I definitely was in the exact same, not exact same place, but it was, I definitely was with people. Like, this kind of stuff would happen all the time, and there was always, like, fights or where were you or what the fuck's going yeah. on or what happened or what are you lying about or who are you, you know, like, cheating on and whatever, whatever. Yeah. And, like, right where I'm sitting right now of, like, the two kids, the house, the happy marriage. Yeah. I have to say, gosh, it was fun. <laughs> Just a little bit. Do it you was know what so I mean? dramatic. Like, clearly, I needed that kind of shit because there sure. was still people at our age back then that were in normal relationships. It wasn't just like age. There was something about us. Yeah. You ended up, you know, I was very, with, dist- I felt like it was military. very self destructive in a, in a way when it came to relationships a little bit, it seemed as if, or maybe I was just blind to, like, Telling this story right now as a 32-year-old, I'm like, you know, I, it was a decade ago. Right. I'm like embarrassed. Yeah, but. You know what I mean? Like I was like, I was with this guy like a decade ago. I'm sitting there going like, how stupid was I? But I think honestly, actually I know because of all the mistakes and the things I learned from that relationship. Oh, yeah. And you learn those early on. Like a lot is, of people learn them down the line there's a lot of things that i can apply now and things that i knew that i wanted and don't get me wrong like i'm i'm only telling like here's the thing there's three sides to the story your side his side and the truth yeah i'm also just only telling one side of his don't get me wrong while he talks you know was toxic when it came to lying and drinking and mm. being pretty uh-huh. aggressive when it came to drinking sure <laughs> and having problems there right so what um he was i will say this like he was a big teddy bear Mm-hmm. When it came, when it boiled down to it, when he really tried to wear his heart on his sleeve, he did seem to really try to love me, mm-hmm. right? Um, I mean, honestly, like he took care of the house. Well, you know, he tried to he tried to be a good provider, right? There, there was good things, you know. There's just, always there's enough. Obviously, there was enough good things for me to sit there and yeah, stay I with mean, him long enough and marry him. Fucking Stockholm, no. like completely no. abused person. It's just. We didn't. We didn't see the. No. But he was just a big lion, aggressive teddy bear. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just a big lion teddy bear, and who doesn't want that, yeah. right? Just a squishy I mean, little liar. I was. He also was six 
three. He was six three. Two seventy. He was like tatted Neck up, tattoos, tatted up. I mean, you were blinded. Arms, you were blinded by a couple. Dark other hair, things. dark eyes, ripped. Sure. Very, very attractive guy. Sure, you were blinded by a couple. Let's things. be honest. I looked back. And uh, pictures of us too. I'm gonna have to see a picture. Oh of this my guy. god! You should see my fat little chubby ass face. Oh I look gosh, like a please. Cabbage Patch Kid. <laughs> oh my gosh! Please, what? I know seriously. Just I carried, from being 20, like basically. I carried being, all. Yeah, I was just had like the baby fat. I carried all, yeah, a lot of the weight too. in my face. But seeing me and then seeing him, I was like, Damn, and I how like, much older good. was he than you? Uh, almost eight years. Eight years. Mm-hmm. So the thing, the the. Um, where it had me to the point where I was like, I realized he's not going to change when it came to his lying ways was after his uh, ex-mother-in-law reached out to me because he was he lied to me. He was still paying off his like ex-wife's car and he tried committing um, insurance fraud. Sure. And he got an Article 15 it's for a that. a teddy bear, right? Yeah. Well, I <laughs> so he, a he tried teddy bear. claiming that like his <laughs> that his his. Uh, ex-wife's wedding ring that he had in his possession got stolen mm. and then when USAA called and they found out she had it because she took pictures of it he got in a lot of trouble for that uh. so anyway which later on like his ex, you know his ex-mother-in-law ended up contacting me being like yeah he's still like sending us a lot of money for her her car you know because it was like part of the divorce agreement I was and like they wanted you to know that well because this was when I had found out that he was cheating and talking to other people. Oh, okay. okay and there okay. was this, these messages in there, and Got she goes, it. "Honey, let me talk. Let me reach out to you and tell you what's going on." Right? Oh, okay. She was you super were kind sweet. Of like, yeah, yeah. And she goes, and without me telling her anything about the entire situation, she goes, "Listen, when he was with my daughter, like she, for some reason, didn't feel like things were going well, so she broke up with him, and she couldn't get him to move out." And he was kept trying to like stay there for weeks and months, saying he couldn't find a place. And then um, his dad like got really sick and apparently was on his deathbed. And she stayed with him because she was there to like comfort him, pattern, and be there with him. And she later on found out that that was a lie. Yeah. And like you know what I mean? Like she started telling me more and more. I was like, this is like that was from seven years ago, right? Yeah. Like when we were together. So right. I was like, this guy hasn't changed for the last decade, and he's yeah. not going to. No. So when we parted ways, the only thing I, like, we, you know, we gave each other, like, little bits of advice and kind of talk about things that we can both work on, Mm -hmm. you know, and mine was, like, breaking down my walls, and, like, I, because I have walls up with all the people that I work with, and I feel the need to protect myself, and it doesn't work in a relationship, right? You have to be vulnerable, you have to show your your heart, and he would just be like, maybe don't be so tough, like, be a girl, open up, have emotions, right? Right. Um, You're protecting yourself about from fucking <laughs> aggressive lying teddy bears just like him so but it's interesting that it's coming sure. from him but sure. and then the only thing that i really gave him was like don't fucking lie yeah like you're a great guy if it wasn't for the lying the, you know what i mean? I mean that's um pathological though yeah. like uh the kind of lies that he tells in the long game of it i mean when you lie about your mom being dead mm-hmm. i mean that is a hardcore it's not like I was just I know at the store and then and I happened to be at the club like that's a whole different kind of lie of like you're covering up shit and you're a cheater and a liar but that sort of thing is like a sociopath yeah right so he I mean you, I don't I didn't realize at the time and I don't really kind of like to admit it now because it's like shame on me but those people are good though that's the thing is like you can oh never he was fault, great he was very you convincing never fault yourself for people like that or people that are uh, abusive verbally and gaslight you and stuff it's like they are really good at what they do so that's one thing that i say is like don't ever feel bad that you like got in an abusive relationship or something yeah. like that they're tr- they're like they've honed their skills do you know what i mean yeah they're fucking good and they prey on the right people that like to you know that are very naive and just kind of want to think oh, the God. best about people. Am I naive? And yeah, like, and I do, and that's I think that's the thing that like my husband tells me all the time is like one thing that you do is you give people the benefit of the doubt right away. Like you always look for the good in people right you away. Should, like switch it and just be protective. Correct. And like traditionally, but when it comes to, like work and stuff with guys, I'm very like. Which right? I don't. Which I don't, initially, a lot of guys are like, "Oh, what a bitch," and it's kind of like, "Well, I mean, if you've been through what I've been through, for sure." Or what's the alternative, bro? I'm yeah. just fucking like super nice with well, you and tell you everything right away and you fucking use it against me. Correct. Cool. So, he, so here's one thing that I noticed being in an all-male dominated career field. Or it's anything with being just surrounded by all males. Specifically alpha males. 
you are either two things to them. You are either a bitch Mm -hmm. or you're a whore. That's it. You're one or the other. Are you never just like friend? (laughs) Well, I'm going to say in a working environment. If in the beginning, had, for sure. For the most part, yeah, yeah, yeah. if guys are going to describe you, if they don't even know you, sure, right. So like guys who oh, don't even a bitch, yeah. guys who don't even know me, yeah, who never got the chance to know me, who only hear rumors. The rumors are, dude, she's such a bitch. Oh, oh. my god, like da 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 da. Right, because mm-hmm. I kind of have like this wall up, and I'm protecting yeah, yeah. myself. Yeah, everything. Or I'm nice and I'm outgoing, and then everyone's like, oh, she wants to sleep with everyone. Right, right. So then you get the guys who actually know me and they go, no, she's cool as fuck. Yeah. No, she's actually a really cool chick. I yeah. mean, she's, she's still a girl, but she's one of us. Yeah. She's a seer, you know, seer guy. So yeah. th- what I'm saying is with the rumors, so you're one or the other. And yeah. for me, I was like, well, I, I mean, the slut rumors are always going to happen no matter what. So I'd rather just be a bitch and try to put it on that side of the, yeah, exactly. the scales. If you know what I mean? Bitch, like who cares? Yeah, At exactly. Least like that. Um, wards off those ladies that you know wives at home that are whatever if you yeah. get the like i'm a bitch then cool she's a bitch yeah. do you know what i mean like that makes me feel like better. okay yeah, okay cool. like cool she's my husband's fucking, not gonna flirt with her because she's, she's a, a bitch huge. yeah <laughs> it's better than the other yeah right? like uh-huh so this is one of those things it's like sur- it's a game of survival so what i'm i'm also and have been for like six or seven years in what i do now i'm mm-hmm. surrounded by all guys yeah, you until are. you came mm-hmm. um and so from where i stand in the whole situation because i am somebody's wife or whatever yes that you're either like the wife go home you're the like fun chick or you're one of the dudes mm-hmm. and so i see girls that try and come into this group fall into a couple different categories sure. of like you're either like super fl- flirty and mm-hmm. they're just gonna like hang out with you for a little bit and then you probably won't come back and hang out anymore correct or you're like one of the dude dudes and you're talking about like shitting and stuff and like that (laughs) doesn't really work do you know what i mean like yeah i always caution girls against that i'm like hey just like still be a girl be cool with whatever you know Mm -hmm. but like don't be a guy Dude, I took like, a massive dump you, this morning. Oh man! <laughs> and like, we'll talk about poop sometimes in this sure. the way that girls do. We yeah. never really talk about it with them to be like, bro. Yeah. So <laughs> there's definitely been girls that I see just like, oh no, like it seems like it's trying a little too hard or something too. It's just they don't want. They get confused. There was this time. I don't know, like uh, 2000s or something where it's like guys were kind of like, I just want, girls thought that guys wanted like one of the guys, mm-hmm. right? We thought that that was like what they wanted because we weren't the super feminine girls yeah, and we weren't just going to be like a little wife at home. So the only other alternative to be able to hang out. You're kind of like a tomboy. You're a tomboy, but then that's a slippery slope, right? Mm-hmm. Where you like, you still have to like be a girl, have girlfriends, don't you know what I mean like yeah. try and have that kind of connection and be a girl talk about girl yeah. stuff but be able to hang in a guy situation so Dude, I, we have to navigate way differently than guys do oh, sure. and it's just the way life is but I've definitely cautioned I think it was the one of the girls that was in range 15 that I was like bro like stop. be careful careful because yeah. then you're thought of they don't want to think about you fucking shitting. I'm no. sorry. I know it's like funny, but they for sure don't want to think about that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you right now, there was multiple times that I would be out in the woods. You know, we'd be in the field um, teaching our students and I'd be in the porter potty and they're like, oh, you shit in there. I was like, leave me the fuck. Leave me alone. Leave me the fuck like, alone. Oh, dude. I'm not like, going to talk about guys my shit have with fun. you, dude. Yeah, but guys have fun like giving us crap sure. about it. Yeah, yeah. But don't To ever... make us feel uncomfortable. Yes. But beyond that. It was just kind of like, dude, just let me, let me go in peace, man. Let me go in peace. Or they peace. would kick it. And it's, and part of me is like, okay. I mean, they do it with the guys too. So what am I going to do? Like, whatever. Exactly. Cool. You could almost be like, okay, cool. I'm being yeah. like thought of as Correct. one of the guys, but you don't want to be a guy. As much as I did, you know, get along with some of the guys and eventually have a lot of guy 
I don't even say friends because it wasn't like we talked all the time. Like I was just cordial with people just at work. Cool with them. They didn't we'd hang out. Or they I had to you. have my girlfriends. Like it was essential to my survival. I always went out with my group of girls every weekend. I had my girlfriends from high school and college. That I still talk to you all the time, and that's how it always was. Even you though you always the, have to be aware of a girl that only has guy friends only. Correct. And the yeah yes, and that's one thing that I did notice because back in the day it was so crazy. They um. There's this thing in the military called beret chasers. Okay. Kind of kind of crazy. But a beret is, you know, that fancy little nice hat that some specialized jobs wear in the military. Oh, okay. okay so you okay. have so green like, berets, special forces. Right. You have the tan berets, which is your rangers, right? Um, in the Air Force, you have certain different color berets, too, that kind of be like, oh, hey, look, I'm cool. Which, yeah, by yeah, the way, yeah. I hate wearing a beret. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a functional hat at all. No. So anyway, they call these girls beret chasers because they Love traditionally it. go for guys who have those jobs because they like that community. And, like, and like the cachet of it. Yeah, yeah they yeah. like purposely like hang around that. Got it. And so there was definitely girls when I lived in Washington who were beret chasers. Like they just kind of got passed around the group of guys. Oh, shit. Yeah. Like... Some some of these guys, you know, eventually was like, hey, I'm dating this girl. It's like, cool. I've been with her. I've been with her. I've been with her. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. And so um, while I had my girlfriends back at home and I had my college girlfriend like six hours away, it was sometimes was still hard to find girlfriends in that immediate area because the wives were, you know, eh, a little bit standoffish yeah. until they got to know me a little bit better because I was a single young Tiffany. And then there was girls that would hang out with me just to hang out with the guys. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Like, I would get the text, like, hey, Tiff, what are you doing tonight? Who are you with? Oh, I'm hanging out with blah, blah, blah. Oh, cool. Let me come out. But it was just her and I. Right? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, but I realized that the only friends that she had were guys and then the guys that she would hang out with me and then me. So I had to sit there and go, oh. Hmm. Right? You got to beware. Do you know what they call um, girls that only want to have sex with comedians? No, what? Chuckle fuckers. (laughs) And I love it, right? I do too. A beret chaser love, is yeah. so good, no. right? Is it beret chaser? Yeah, beret yeah, chaser. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love a name like that. A uh-huh. chuckle fucker. A chuckle I was that fucker. for like a second. That's good. Were you? Because yeah, what are they called? The band groupies. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's and like th- there's always we have you have your niche. You have things that you like. And don't get me wrong, like and also those- meeting guys. Sometimes you will meet them through in groups that you sort of date someone else in the group. Comedians have a certain personality and a certain lifestyle and, and they group. act a certain way in a group, yeah. right? Same thing with band guys. Like if you like one band guy, you're probably going to like a musician, someone else who has that sure. drive, the artistic ability. So you're going to so be in on the our fringe. group. It was kind of the same. Like you get a super type A alpha personality guy, but also down to the core like kind of insecure and like a soft sure. teddy bear. You know, good at everything, like jack of all trades, drinks like a fucking fish. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Kind of attractive. Yeah. In a weird, nerdy way for the most part, you know. Look, and I they loved get it. it. Believe me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get a beret chaser yeah. for sure. Sure. And also you get to be like, mm, I'm with. And I think that was one of the things some of them like. Are these people that are beret chasers in the military or are they just civilians no typically are, civilians okay. around the area because so, that's what they they just think of special forces as like the best oh uh, we are not special forces right e- even sears not even special warfare now so right. like there's jobs in the uh in the air force that are considered like sp- they call them special warfare yeah jobs sears not even that they just consider it, it's a different specialized job Got it. whatever but there is special forces yeah and so even around like fort bragg i'm there's certain bars that are where the special forces guys hang out. Yeah. And there's certain girls who go there for that. Got it. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So. Same with chuckle fuckers. I mean, yeah. really. I mean, good on you. I'm sure it's a fun time. You yeah, know. I'm sure it's like. It's just whatever you. you find like sexy, right? Sure. Funny. Special. Like whatever. Right? Yeah. So. See, funny to me is now that I'm older is way more attractive than than just looks because especially I'm, in the quarantine right phew. you're like man you can't be hanging out that's with what i'm saying dude oh i saw a meme the other day it was like i wonder how those really hot people are doing out there that have zero personality right now like they must be struggling hard or they're just fucking in the quarantine <laughs> right i mean could they go out and can they go out and do it i mean i guess oh those really hot people with no personality yeah who are in a relationship oh, but like oh, dating yeah, around yeah, yeah. like you have to actually have to talk to someone now yeah. well dr fouch the fauci you know dr fouch oh fauci that's like the little 
gray-haired guy that's telling us what to do during the coronavirus? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So doc, I call him the Fouch. But oh, anyway. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> the Dr. Fouch said, you know, that if you want to be safe about it, that Tinder and things like this aren't a horrible idea. You just Because it's one person going to another person's house. Okay. You have to make sure. Yeah, that they're that's safe. That's what he's saying. It's not like a Fuck group with of masks 10. on. Both of them are like fucking with masks on. It's like a hey, stripper relationship a where they don't kiss each other. Latex, you know, <laughs> gloves. Ooh, Ooh, some people are into the latex. A little fucking sanitizer. Right. Mm. <laughs> don't use Why that, do by the way. Why do you always oh, because do like that's, that's these a, movements? That because I was saying as lube. I was saying as lube, oh. which, by the way, don't do that. No, don't. It's alcohol. It's very drying. <laughs> Do not do that. Oh, God. That would burn the privates. Uh, I saw that somewhere that was like someone was cautioning against that, which yeah. means that they did try so, it. Listen, Oof. we had kids eating damn pot, Tide Pods, Tide pods out mean. there. Like, don't put anything past anyone. Weren't people back in the day sniffing shit and piss, too? Sniffing shit You don't remember this? Piss? They were putting it in like a balloon what or a bottle this? What do you mean back and in the fermenting day? it. What day? 90s, 2000s? 2000s, I think. Really? They put Snipping. it in a bottle. Yeah. I guess because there are some fermented methane gases piss. that you get from It's shit. called jenkum. Is it inhalant? No joke. And a hallucinogen created from fermented human waste. It was in the mid 1990s. So the 1990s. It was reported popular by a street gang. What? As a street drug. This is awesome. They were hey guys, you don't have any drugs. And urine into a jar and bucket and seal it for days. And yes. then you and, they would, and then you sniff it. Yes, and people, yep, yeah, put it put it into a balloon and inhale the gases. No joke. I remember hearing about this. Oh my god, my I mind think is I, blown right now. I think my my parents even had. I feel sit like down I've heard us. of every drug. Yeah, this was like I think this was before college, or even in high school, where my parents were like, "Hey, make sure you guys aren't sniffing pee and poop." And we're like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, okay, well, th- uh, no, nope, okay, never mind. Like, Bro, <laughs> you're like, mom. Yeah, the, it's on the five most bizarre it does substances sound, to get high. It sounds it's sniffing like sniffing your shit. Shit. Nutmeg? Do you remember nutmeg? I do remember a little thing of nutmeg, although I don't really remember what you did. It's with also it. apparently do you eat classified it? as a hallucinogen. You eat the nutmeg, or what do you do? Um, let's see. Smoke? Maybe you smoke it. They can't t- you remember. can either drink it and sw- drink it and swallow it. Apparently, like a huge spoonful. Toad licking is another thing that apparently you can this get high. One, that sounds no like joke. It. You can get high off of licking a toad. Yeah, I've heard that. That's, that sounds like something that it's a little bit of a wives' tale. But yeah, I'm, um, I'm sure somebody did at some point. Someone from but Alabama. The piss, and, the piss and shit one kind of sounds like you know, like how yeah, parents Jenkins. parents don't really know at all what the kids are doing mm-hmm. and like one person will do something and yeah. parents are like hey hey yeah guys we heard that it's all the rage and you're like bro like one person yeah, did, one it. did it it's on the news it, it's somewhere in like siberia and like sorry, why do, why not- do, yeah why do you guys have the tide pods yeah, locked exactly, up like, like i'm not eating these things no like who the fuck yeah so you never heard of this? No, I I'm haven't. Very you know who would be really happy about us segueing from that? <laughs> Ghost bed. Ghost bed. <laughs> they do love a good segue into their... They really do. We always, <laughs> drag them in, they, we always drag them into our shit. God, what, I forget what we did last show, but it was a good one, It by was the a way. good one. Uh, maybe a diaper thing. Mm-hmm. It must have been a diaper thing yesterday. But diaper. anyways, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. <laughs> Um, it's going to be a sa- the same across all the shows, guys. But if you go to that landing page, you're going to get 25% off everything in the store. So I think what they're doing is because this quarantine is so uncertain of how long it's going to last, I think mm-hmm. every day they're sort of extending that 12-hour clock. Because, you yeah. know, if you, go to the, if you go to the site right now, it's like 12 hours left. So every day that you go there, I think they just extend Keep it. Keep extending it, yeah. Until Smart. the Fouch says we're good. Mm-hmm. We're, you can be out of quarantine. But anyways, uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros and get 25% off everything. Get a mattress, sheets, pillows, get comfy, cozy, and do the 36-month pay-as-you-go program so that you're not paying a bunch of money right now. I know we can't really do that, and I would never ask Mm -hmm. you to use your stimulus check on this. That's rude. But but if you want to just put a couple bucks, 70 bucks towards it, the rest towards the mortgage, whatever you want. (laughs) <laughs> um, next up, strikeforceenergy.com. 
promo code lady oh, I boner I had on my oh, shirt. I, I was on the it's video covered in Del wine. C last show. We um we have lady boner shirts just for this promo code. Lady boner get twenty percent off mm-hmm. everything at checkout. So. Get you a pouch of clean, yes. long-lasting energy that doesn't make you jittery or feel weird or dehydrated. Put it in some water. Get your fucking self out of bed. Yeah. Clean the house. What do you make mix your yours with? A white claw? If I'm trying to day drink, I have to, have to put strike force in anything I'm drinking. And that's usually a white claw. And I do the lemon. Smart. So if you do okay. lemon strike force with pretty much any... Either LaCroix or if you want to go mm. truly White Claw, it's going to taste good. It's just going to brighten it up. There you go. It's going to give you some energy. Listen, You're going to last. Day drinking and drinking is at an all-time high right now. So get Bro. it on. Get it on. Do it. Uh, go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. Enter promo code LADYBONER. Mm-hmm. You guys know this. All right. Next up, we have a new sponsor oh. that could not be more pertinent. Right? Could not be... How many times have we been talking about this? This We've been talking about it all day yesterday. Yes. Betterhelp.com. So BetterHelp is essentially virtual therapy. It is. Right? Which in these times, Mm. some of these sponsors that we're getting are just so fucking perfect. I know. Um, This one very much so. And I have to say this week before you came, it was, it's been a little bit. It's been hard, yeah. right? The weekend was hard. You don't have anything to go to, anything to do. You get a little bit depressed. But anyways, if you go to BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, that's BetterHelp, not health, BetterHelp.com slash broettes, you're going to get 10% mm. off your first month. Yeah. Um, so... Anything you may be dealing with, they're de- they're gonna they're dealing with depression, stress, Listen, anxiety, like, marital shit. Even now, so you can't. We can't really go anywhere now, right? You can't. Still, Some you can't. People don't feel as comfortable like sitting in a weird office talking to a therapist face to face. All you have to do is quick text, a call. You can talk to someone within twenty four hours. Yes, in the comfort of your own home. And and here's the thing too, like you know how sometimes we just. Just like you said before, you don't want to bother like your parents or your friend or whatever. You Dude. just want someone to talk to, yeah. invent to, and you're having a really hard time. And you don't want it that's to what become, better helps here for. Exactly, you don't want it to become a big thing yeah. where your friends are like keep checking on you, even Correct. when you're like whatever. Which you should reach out to friends. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying you shouldn't, but this can kind of. I'm more of a person that likes to take care of my shit mm-hmm. myself a little bit, yeah. and then talk to my friends when I've kind of gotten to the Same. other side of it, right? So if I say I'm like a little bit depressed, that means like I really need to like figure something out. Yeah. And I'm just sort of gauging. So you go to the site and you kind of just talk a little bit about what you're dealing with, whatever it is, and then they're going to pair you mm-hmm. with the best licensed therapist, the best person to deal with that particular thing. Whether yeah. you're just like, dude, I'm depressed, I don't know what's going on, I feel a lot of anxiety, I whatever literally whatever you're feeling mm-hmm. that you need to talk to somebody about they're gonna fit you with the right person i think this is amazing yeah. i'm i'm so for virtual therapy because of the stigma even if this quarantine wasn't going on yeah i'm so for it i'm so here for like texting with someone Me too. and just like getting to the bottom of it if you feel good keep talking to them mm-hmm. check in so Go to betterhelp.com slash broettes, B-R-O-E-T-T-E-S, and you're going to get 10% off your first month. Just check it out. If you're feeling any type of way that you just need to talk to somebody, just go to their site and put in what you're feeling. Yeah. Whatever it may be, go from there. Highly, highly recommend. Um, so we were talking a little bit about girls, you know, mm doing whatever they do, feeling however they feel. Be- yeah. We were cautioning them against certain things. But I think we could even extend that, don't you we think? Can. Yeah. To like girl code. Yeah. We were kind of talking about it last episode and we said we would expand on it. What you got in front of you? There is so this girl posted on social media that like her five things of a girl code. Right. Okay. And I'm sure we can like piggyback off of them and sure. explain them even a little bit more. Or how maybe they pertain to us. Yeah. Some more to it. Hey. But I think for the most part, it's good. Um, in this world, right? Yes. Where there's such a stigma 
the society standards are so high for us with our looks and with the way we should act and everything, right? We got guys come at us about our looks sideways. You know what I mean? Just like nitpicking shit. Guys burning us, whatever. Like the last thing that we need to do is jump on each other as women and just add to the noise and perpetuate the bullshit, right? We need to go ahead and be there for one another. We don't always have to agree. You don't have to have the same fucking opinion. You might not, you know what I mean? You might not be okay, but sometimes it's just better to keep your damn mouth shut or help a sister out. Yeah. And this is kind of where the girl code comes from, right? Yeah. So number one, there's five of them. Number one, she was saying, as women, we are required to inconspicuously pants check any woman who thinks they may have bled through. And I think that's that's probably one of the most embarrassing things. Oh, yeah, like white pants. Oh, my God. Or if you've started, you didn't know, blah, blah, blah. But not even, like, inconspicuously check, but also, like, hook a a girl up with tampons. Hey, dude. Yeah. Oh, tampons should always, like... If you have them... I think that's pretty clear. I would definitely give them to anyone. But, you know, there's some people, like, can you spare your square? They're like, no, fuck you. Like, right? There's been a time where I was at the gym before and I was on the Stairmaster, right? I'm in mm-hmm. leggings. I don't wear anything under my leggings. And I'm, I don't know how many people do it. I think it's like 50-50 out there, but I just don't. Okay. And also I was like, did I just piss myself? What the fuck is going on? Right. And I went to the bathroom. I was like, oh my God. Thank God I wore darker leggings today. You don't wear underwear? I, no. To oh, the gym? so uncomfortable. Under your leggings? Leggings? No, that's what the, pri- the point of the little gusset thing is there. What would you wear? Underwear? No, it shows. It's so uncomfortable. All it right. rides up. I mean, some girls wear a thong. Yeah. But I can't. It's just so much. And I think the reason why is because I grew up on a swim team where you're just wearing a swimsuit nonstop. And I grew up on a track team where you're literally wearing a unitart running with nothing underneath it. So maybe that's why I'm so used to it. Okay. I don't know. But I, apparently it's like a 50-50 thing. 50% right. of girls wear nothing. Other 50 wear like a thong or underwear. Okay. So I went to the girl at the front desk. And I was like, can you hook me up? Like, do you have tampons? She's like, oh my God, yeah, girl. Yeah, I was, and she protected me. Right, she walked behind me. Beautiful on the way to the bathroom, and I was bitch. so thankful. That's a even real though it bitch. wasn't really showing. I was like, "Thank you so much." Yeah, and that's what we should do. And I've done that for other girls too. That, that's for what we should be doing sure. for one another. If you don't know that, girls, I don't know what kind of bitch you are. Some. If you don't know to do that, anyway, okay, so that's why we're saying them. Yep, right. There's obviously Girl code some one. people. Yeah, one number two. If you see something, say something. So this can be anything. You see food in someone's teeth. Sure. Say something. Sure. Uh, someone sat in dirt. Say something. Beautiful. They got a hole in their leggings. Say something. Any you sketchy see their shit. Man out with a fucking nose? yeah. Is that? Do we do? Do we decide if we do that or with not? With the make out? What? If we see? Yeah. If we see the man out cheating or something, or I, something's fucking weird. You do I right. Mean, you always do. I don't. If I know the person and I'm close to them, yeah. Yeah, if the girl's your friend. Mm-hmm. I've done it. And sadly, I've done it. I, I've i not willingly, like, told her straight to her face, like, hey, girl, I have this information. But there was one time where, like, I saw this video of the married guy and this girl he was flirting with. And it was, like, super inappropriate. And I was like, oh, God. And I didn't really know what to think of it, right? Yeah. And then when I, like, hung out with her, she, she you can tell something was really weighing heavily on her heart. And um, she, like, pulled me and our other girlfriend to the bathroom. And she's like, I think he's cheating on me with this girl that he works with. And I was like, and she started pouring out her heart to me. And it was one of those moments where I was like, hey, I actually got to tell you about this video I saw. Was the guy your friend? I worked with him. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a real bitch right there. That, that was hard. I had to apologize to him and say, hey, man, I'm sorry. Like, I give you a heads up, but your wife pulled me to the bathroom. What did he say? Was he pissed? He was, or was he more upset that he... It looked bad on him. Yeah. But he, they were going through issues, I guess. And this was like not the first spot. thing. It's kind of like... Um, he, he told me... It's a he tricky goes, spot. He goes, listen, I understand the position that you were put in. Um, I understand that you're friends with my wife. And that was a really awkward position. And you would never have to deal with it if I didn't do anything. And I was like... Hey, I like that. That's but also, he was... It. But he was very... I think it took him a little while to calm down because he was also like, hey, I would think that you working (laughs) with me, you would also tell me. And I said, I wanted to tell you. I actually had no intention of telling anyone or saying anything, but your wife pulled me to the bathroom, dude. And it was like, I think he's cheating on me with this chick that he works with. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah, right? That's a real bitch right there. So to me, that's like... I feel like that's part of girl girl code. Yeah. Can you imagine if I was to sit there and just keep my mouth shut? And be like, 
oh, I totally saw a video of them like groping, kind of rubbing on each other. But it's I'm an not gonna say anything. Interesting thing, though, right? Because if are you fr- real friends with the wife, that is girl code. It's hard. But I wonder if like you would go to him and be like, listen, she knows what's up. I didn't fucking say anything. Well, I have a chance to. Fucking... Was I supposed to go out in the middle of a restaurant and say, no, 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 hey, no. I need to talk to you really quick. No, I know, but it's like. Realistically, if the situation was like changing and there was a different circumstance, and if I was going to tell her anything, I would never tell her for. I'd be like, hey, dude, I saw this. Yeah, but she so was. You might like, want to do something. There was a girl you might say something to that your wife. was like hurting in front of you, and you fucking. You set her mind. I mean, she must have at that point was like, I mean, okay, here's good. Thing. Like, at least I'm not fucking crazy. They've like, been married for like over a decade. They had like five kids. So, you know what I mean? They yeah. were going through like a hard moment. They are still together and doing great, but they had yeah. to work through right. some shit. Some shit. And there isn't video of them full on like making out, right? Or like you don't know exactly. I don't know. Did they? Who knows? Anyways. Yeah, that's the right thing to do. Yeah. That's girl code. But that's a, that's like girl. I'm not going to willy nilly. Because like, if I see someone is always online. Gonna fucking yeah lie to you especially if they're cheating like that right well so i'm gonna like, tell you this right now i've seen way too many guys cheat in the military on their spouses yeah like way too many Dang. it's really sad and i think that's also another reason why i have trust issues because you just see it all the time oh my god it's it's so bad i went through our seven level training I right that. yeah and the first day one of the guys cheated on his wife there and his wife that i know who i've drank with before and mm-hmm. i was like what the fuck and all the guys were like don't you say anything fucking tiffany don't you yeah. fucking say anything but then i'm the bad guy yeah. you know what i mean so a lot of times i'm like okay well if his wife was to approach me i'm gonna fucking say something i'm gonna say something and there was even one night where another guy like brought out like he's married and he brought out this girl that he met at the hotel like another air force chick and brought her out drinking with all of us. And she's sitting there flirting with him in front of all the guys. And she comes up, you know, like, we're all talking. And, like, in my tipsy state, I was like, hey, bro. Like, she was like, oh, my God, I love those shoes. And I was like, hey, bro, does your wife like those shoes? <laughs> I didn't give a fuck. Right. Because all the guys were standing there around going, what are you doing? What are you doing? To him. Yeah. Like, yeah. what are you doing? Why yeah. would you bring this around us? Yeah, because then it puts you guys in the fucking bad yeah, situation. Yeah, and, and, like, a lot of the guys were like, dude. Yeah, what Tiff said. You nice. know what I mean? And then... He like walked away with her, but she clung on to him more. And I'm like, you guys are just, you guys disgust me. Which that brings us to our next one. Beautiful. Don't knowingly be another man's side chick. Stay the fuck away. Yeah. We're better than that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And to me too, it's like, I don't want to say once a cheater, always a cheater, because I do believe people can change. But if, if a guy cheats on his wife or cheats on his girlfriend with you, do you really think that he's going to, not do that to you. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. There's always like a gray area that um, is interesting to me because you know how long like divorces take. I know. But then you're no, always yeah, like. Yeah, I do know that. But then you're always like, but the guy could say whatever. You know, he could say like, oh, yeah, we've been separated for however long. And then you're not. So mm-hmm. like I would always say like, dude, just don't fucking date married guys no matter what. But mm-hmm. then sometimes divorces can drag on for like three fucking years dude sure well do you know what i mean like so I, dep- i'm not sure like there's that but like you know when you're the real side it depends bitch. on this it depends on the state that you're in mm. right so when i got married in washington it took four months for us to get our divorce nice. which to me was long at the time but that was quick that's long but that's north carolina world, is a year a year because you have to be separated for a certain amount of time yes. and so like, here's the thing you still have separation papers though that you both sign right so if so you're like hey that. i'm separated da, 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 da. here are my papers I, we both signed and a lot of times too if couples can get along enough for the, to both be like hey let's both say we were separate for a year so we can just get a fucking divorce yeah. now but uh, uh you know you don't have to have the papers for that amount of time as long as the as long as you guys both agree that you have been separate for a year already but a lot of times there's always someone disgruntled that's like wanting to like drag it out sure like yeah yeah for sure but even with this girl right or anyone like stay away from someone's dude someone talks about the wife and then all the friends are fucking pissed that's your exact moment to be a real bitch and be like dude what the fuck Mm -hmm. like okay sorry i did not know blah blah blah. or because they can tell you everything they can tell you anything they want yeah but look for those signs of like the friends being weird. Yep. The girls that he's around being like, bro, what the fuck? I know. Like, look for those signs if you really aren't sure if he's actually separated or not. Yeah. 
And that's the thing, too, is, like, the see something, say something thing. And this even talks about, uh, like, sketchy shit going down with, like, alcohol involved as, you know, as okay. well. Because people do stupid things. Yeah. There's a bro code, right? And the bro code for a lot of times is, like, if you see something, you never say something. You always got that guy's back. I Which know. I think that was a thing that always bothered me. And even sometimes, like, I've even had this conversation with my husband, right? Because he was just in a course recently. And there was, like, one of the guys that was in this course who was married. Mm-hmm. Who was married. Mm-hmm. And his wife, you know, lives in Florida. And this guy was, like, going out and drinking, like, all the time. And apparently, like, Chris got a call in the middle of the night one time from one of his buddies. And was like, dude, I'm so fucking pissed at him. He went home with this girl. What the fuck's wrong with him? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I asked, like, Chris and, like, all his buddies. I'm like, are you guys going to, like, say something to him about it? Yeah. Or are you just going to, like, oh, And he's like, what am, what am I supposed to do? It's his business. Unless he, he goes, unless it affects work. Guys are like that. I know. Unless Girls it, would be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like trying to help each other out. And you know what I mean? Uh, a little bit more. And there was also like a bro code. Like, oh, like don't be snitching. Yeah. Snitches get stitches or whatever. I'm sure there's probably, by the way, I'm sure there's probably girls out there that are like that too, though. If they're cheating on somebody and they're like, dude, girl, you better fucking not say shit. Like I'm going to end it or whatever it is. Yeah. I it haven't seen that as much. Ways. Oh, I'm sure it goes both ways. It goes ways. both ways. I know. But I'm saying there's a girl, there's the girl code of, listen, if a yeah. girl comes to you and it's like, hey. Yeah. Have you been talking to my man? Or like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or do you know something about so-and-so that went down? Because like, don't be a fucking bitch to the wife. Like, yeah. you know, clearly there's something going on. Like, and say it with like love and respect. Not only be like, yeah, your man's a fucking dick and he's fucking all these bitches. Be like, Hey, you know, like, I'm really sorry to tell you, but I, I like, I did kind of see something and I didn't really want to like tell you unless you like addressed it with me, but I did see this and I'm really, really sorry. And if you want more information, like, let me know. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I love it. It's a really hard thing to go through. There's the hard thing with that as far as timeline as well. So like you either need to say it right away or never. Right. Because if you wait too long, then you've known for that amount of time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. then there's that issue too where you're like, well, bro, you you know what I mean? Like you've known for this entire time you didn't tell me. It's like, well, I didn't know what to do, right? Yeah. It's hard. It's a sticky situation. I think draw your hard lines and then just always stick to that. Like, I agree. I fucking tell right away, always, because I would want whatever you would want to have happen to you. Yeah. You do to someone else. Yeah. Like one of the guys, yeah, like the guy's wife, the guy who's like, Talking to the other girl, like I don't know his wife. So what am I supposed to do? Like hunt her down and be oh, like, "Oh, for sure, hey." That's not your place there. But like, if it was your friend that was the wife, correct? You tell, oh, e- you tell that night. Otherwise, it would have oh, been absolutely. like, "Oh, you knew you were there. I heard you were there. I heard you saw it. You didn't say anything correct. to me." Correct. However, I will say that. that dude's wife, who I don't know, right? If she was to find out that I was there, yeah, with them all on TDY, and eventually reached out to me and said, "Like, hey, did like." things been weird in my marriage like i know this is really random but my husband didn't do anything strange i'd be like you might want to ask him about some girl that was hanging around him and that's about all i would say like you know what i mean oh okay yeah i would do that yeah, yeah. if she approached me oh like, no you know i, I mean? would say he was with some fucking bitch because here's the thing if you don't and she was hanging all over him if you don't want me to say anything don't fucking bring it around me keep it in the hotel like everybody else does you know what i mean gosh they get bold don't Dude, they? they do fucking get bold so anyway and I'm probably going to get shit for saying all this from all the military guys. Like, oh, fuck you. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care, man. Look, you I have. You want to be a fucking cheater? Do I have very dirt bag. few. I have only a few military friends. Then and how about you keep it in your fucking pants, respect your fucking wife. And if you want to cheat on her, get out of the fucking relationship. Wives, yeah. Get a divorce and then get your fucking dick on with whoever you want. Yeah. Have some goddamn respect. When you make those vows, you're making it to that person. Unless you have an open relationship or any other thing. Like, seriously, the grass is not green on the other side. You're just not putting enough work in into your own damn relationship. Stop being a lazy fucker. Shit. Right. And that goes for guys or girls. Yeah. Anyway, I'm off my soapbox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've been cheated on or something. But what I was saying to just so that you weren't hanging out there in the wind is that I know a couple military friends. All of them have cheated on their wife. And I only know a few. Just saying. Carry on. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's like some type of invincibility or something. That's what I was going to say. Is it? It's like they think that they like. I, they've I been I'm, through some shit. They always have I'm not just saying group. it's all military guys either. I'm not saying it's all military no, no, people it's, because it's just guys it's just and people. girls everywhere. It's people in general. But 
I think because there's so much like travel and like people go away and then like they deploy and they like get lonely and they use fucking excuses or whatever. Right. It's just more available to for them to. I don't know. So number three. <laughs> oh, three only. Let's go. Or excuse me, number four. Yeah. Because I did skip one. Don't oh, okay. laugh when dudes roast girls, whether it's behind oh, like their backs, one. whether it's to their faces, because guess what? Your ass is probably going to be next. Yeah. Don't think that they're only roasting that one girl. Mm -hmm. If they do it to one girl, they do it to every girl they know Listen. and see. And that's just their fucking jam. You are no exception. You are not special. Yeah. Okay. Like, let's not perpetuate this. Let's yeah. not add to the noise. Yeah. The, you don't have to say anything when you hear it, you know, and like get involved in the fight. Sure. But don't be like, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. I if don't you think do I've ever like I I was we were talking about it yesterday but I don't think I've ever like gone after, made fun of, commented, said anything about a girl online. So that's famous what famous yeah. or otherwise. Do you know what I mean? And so that's where I feel like we're I mean, seeing I hate Meghan Markle, but other than that. <laughs> do you? Oh. Oh, we can talk what about this later more later. Carry on. But yeah, I've seen it. It's more prevalent on social media now. Gosh, and I've never done that. Right? Mm -mm. And there's this thing. I don't know what it is. If, like, military vet, like, m male military dudes or, like, male vet dudes are just bored out of their fucking mind. But all these motherfuckers are starting, like, meme pages now. And don't get me wrong. Some of, them are, some of their meme pages are really funny shit. Sure. And they're really relatable to, like, the military, military. life. Military, yeah, yeah. But the way where, where some of them cross the line is when they start attacking specific guys or girls. Right. And a lot of these pages like to attack like other female, they like to attack female vets, right? For like the just, same shit that guys do. Okay. Or like less than uh -huh. because they just can because they feel like they're on some soapbox and like, I'm going to be a fucking crusader. We're part of some like legion, whatever. Oh, yeah. I'm God because I'm, they're hiding behind some, you know, profile that doesn't give their name. Yeah. Which in other words, you're a pussy because you're not putting your real self out yeah, there and you're sure. making fun of someone behind something that's protecting you because yeah, you're yeah. sitting, you know, behind a safe screen. Yeah. So anyway, what I'm seeing, though, is like, let's say they'll go after, they'll go after a big name person online sometimes. Right. Or, or a military veteran. Yeah. And it's a girl. And all of a sudden, like you'll hear some guys will say things like, oh, what a thought or like da 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 da. And a lot of these guys are like fat, disgusting slobs who could never have a chance with that girl sure right or you get other girls that join in like oh my god i know right oh what is you know i can't believe she's posting pictures of her in swimsuits and blah 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 blah. you go check on this chick's page she's in fucking lingerie yeah Are, yeah are you kidding me yeah right so it's kind of and then you see these girls jump on you know why because they want to be one of the dudes mm. they want to be part of this gang they want to be yeah, like yeah, hey yeah. i'm cool too let's go ahead and slam this chick and yeah. i'm just sitting there going not the way dude because those guys <sighs> really like those, you're next yeah those Honey guys are not gonna be in the end your super good friend i don't so. even say military guys it's like any page right now right like yeah. guys going after like swimsuit models or like all these other girls right or these other pages that sh like highlight they are highlighting girls bodies like other girls are just coming on being like what a slut blah 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 all those are things it's like easy yeah what what's with it like why i never know what that is oh i can tell you what it is it's Jealous. insecurity insecurity it's jealousy. Jealousy. jealousy you were projecting your hate your insecurity and all your bullshit on someone else who doesn't deserve it or just how you would you would do it so like Aisha Curry, do you know this? Uh, Steph Curry's wife. She's like famously this super buttoned up, like perfect wife. She's basketball player, Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she would like come after girls that Who were. Showed stuff? Yeah, just in, you know, bathing suits or whatever. And it's like, well, I don't have to cover up. Da -da -da. Like, I know my man, like, blah, blah, blah. And you're, people are like, why the fuck do you like. Like, just because that's how you would conduct, even if it is a girl that wouldn't fucking do it, mm -hmm. what the fuck do you care? Mm -hmm. What is that? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes it doesn't need to be said. Like, don't get me wrong. There's been a few times where I've seen some stuff, particularly, you know, like someone in the, a, a female in the military or something, and then like they're posting a side by side photo of like them in uniform and yeah, them yeah, in yeah. a very racy, provocative outfit. Yeah. And part of me is like. Oh, 
don't get me wrong like they look hot as fuck like i'm like damn girl get it yeah another part of me is like oh I... yeah whatever could i comment and be like say what whatever sure yeah. but guess what i'm an adult and i just keep a fucking mouth shut and my opinions to myself because what good is it gonna do and if i'm gonna comment be like yeah girl get it but that's only if it's genuine yeah yeah if you really think that you're not gonna be like yeah girl get it and fuck that bitch correct back. so it's just kind of like for me i'm not it's it's really hard for someone to um get to the point where you feel they need to comment they affect my life like unless you're in my personal dms or you're like messing with my family other people's lives like never yeah. they never affect me like that's the thing i don't understand <laughs> like either ever ever it's like random people i don't look at their page and go oh you infuriate <sighs> me like, well, guess what get the fuck off their page you know what i mean the like only sort time of my philosophy yeah I, I feel like i do let things bother me or get to me is yeah. when i'm getting attacked that's what i'm saying if my they're in family's my family's getting attacked my name's my name. getting attacked yeah. reputation then it's like who the fuck are you and why did you come out of nowhere yeah to what like really okay yeah move on you know yeah but other than that no one really like literally no one affects my life well because you have a life honey maybe that's it that's why oh that's a good one maybe people should <laughs> try it <laughs> right yeah that's a good one get your own life and then you can either post those pictures or not yeah and that would be your choice do you uh there's this really awesome guy on social media i think he started on tiktok um not on tiktok excuse me twitter and i never really had twitter um his handle they call him he calls himself the captain okay he started off on twitter uh sgr stk right love his tweets i love his vibe everything he says and the one he did the other day goes times must be tough for people who live for meaningless gossip with social interaction at an all-time low a lot of people are being forced to talk about their own lives and goals realizing they have neither this is what we call boredom people if you're that bored in your life and you do not have a life that you feels worth living and you're so bored with it guess what you're gonna do you're gonna talk about someone else's life or it's gonna affect you yeah. like if you're busy if you're busy if you have things in your life that you are working towards or goals or people or passions like it would be it's really hard for someone else's picture to affect you <laughs> Right? I mean, really, it's like you would have to be, it would have really, to be yeah. literally in front of my face and like burned into my eyeballs for it to fucking <laughs> affect my life in any way, right? Yeah. That's Fuck right. Um, I think this is the last one. Body hair is a really personal thing. And women yeah. should not be judging each other for how they d- decide to maintain their own body hair. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I facial hair. Facial hair. Chin hairs, leg hairs armpit hairs i do judge on a on a facial hair though here's the thing i do go when it, just, when it comes to facial hair and when sometimes i've seen other girls with like like the dark oh that's yeah the darker beer there's like, nothing you darker really hair, do about that really long chin hair and people are like the mustache sometimes i think to myself that maybe they just don't see it maybe. maybe it's really hard for them to maintain right and they just are growing it out to wax it like Part of me, actually, my heart goes out some because I'm like, it's probably going to be really hard to deal with because I can only imagine how many people are judging and looking at you. I think it's probably like the old saying of we hate most in others what we dislike in ourselves (laughs) because I have so much like random facial hair that I fucking hate. Yeah. And I have to I like mean, I deal, deal with it, it yeah. every day that I get well, pissed. Well, you don't have a fucking beard though. As, you know. If I Like a dark, wiry. No, but if exactly. I didn't like take care of it every day oh, uh-huh. it would become something for sure once a week i'm looking in my you know magnified day magnified mirror finding, going damn once a day i'm finding like, a new one <laughs> do you know That's what, what I mean? happens when we get older though because and I'm, especially now when you can't like wax and stuff just because of like i'm gonna totally get 100 percent get laser hair Ugh. I you know what I mean? Can you do the face yet? Have we talked about yeah, that? Yeah, I think you can. You can? Because we looked it up 100%. before. That, and you can do your vagina now, too. The whole thing into the... I don't, love a, I don't love a totally... For myself, this is not me judging. And so this is... Yeah. This is not me judging. For myself, I don't love a totally clean 
I actually really don't really like it as much either. Like when I was younger, I used to because it was just so much easier. It was just like new too. Now I just like having my bikini line fixed up and just like good to go. Yeah, and everything else can just be yeah, and everything else can be fine because it actually to me like feels better. Like everything's kind of better about it. Yeah, I don't like when it grows back in in certain places. So I'm just like, dude, I'm not going to fucking take care of that every... Do you know what I mean? Because I don't yeah. like the growing back in process of a lot I of it. either, actually. So I keep, I keep the bikini line and a trim yeah. for now. We'll see what happens later. But I don't... I've done the, like, clean shave or clean wax and... Yeah. But that's it what I'm feels saying. very 12-year-old-ish. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, and to each their own. It's like, oh, don't you... Like, oh, girl, but I then can't hang por- out with you because you got your beaver waxed. Porn, but then on porn stars, I'm like... Yeah, looks that good. looks good. So yeah. maybe it's just me. Then there's girls who, individuals who have like grow out their armpit hair. There's right. girls with armpit hair. Like there teach, is. again, or like, oh man, for a while there, like I had super hairy legs. And you just like let it go. Yeah, for like a, a month or two. And I was waiting to wax it to get more wax in. I was kind of being lazy. And there was a couple points where I was like, I don't care. I'm going to wear shorts. Dang. I know. Now I'm getting in my 30s. I'm kind of like, I don't care. Whoa. Just deal with the hairy legs. Because guess what? You know who it really matters to? Chris. He doesn't care. And he doesn't care. He says all the time, I'm a real man. Blood doesn't bother me. Hair doesn't bother me. Like, Love I it. don't care. Like, you know what I mean? He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what he says all the time. Love it. <laughs> you don't have man. to shave your legs? Oh, what a dream. He didn't care. Like, you know what I mean? What don't a dream. I would never do it. But you know how it is when you shave your legs? You're like, feel my legs. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're like, you somebody your legs. better feel... Because through your sheets over and over oh, again feels so good it feels great and i will say that too when you have a clean sh- a clean waxed complete what is it brazilian yeah the full thing um is that brazilian yeah when full it's full brazilian yeah, yeah yeah when you have a full brazilian like it does feel very sexy for a little bit it does but then it's kind of like all right now i'm done with this it looks Correct. weird i'm like not into it but um yeah i don't think i judge at all i literally just for myself yeah like there's people that can rock a fucking bush. I'm just saying porn star wise that I've seen. They can yeah. rock a bush. They can I know. go fucking clean shave. Like it really is just like that one is whatever you want. Like yeah, I but don't again, at all. I guess there it's it's the you know, people it's are thing, judging. Huh? It's a judge thing, yeah. Oh uh, well, well girls, by the way, it's just predispos like we have to try really hard not to judge and even then we're judging. I know. So it is what it is. Like yeah. we're gonna try and be nice and try and like open-minded open-minded lift each other up help each other out but really we love to talk shit it's like a sport Mm -hmm. and we we judge Mm -hmm. and so we do we do have to try harder than guys and and try harder to do better than we normally do right then what is our instinct to do correct but here's the thing to always think about too is as much as we hate when it's done to us Mm -hmm. right sometimes we find that it's easier to do it to others and then until it's done to us then you sit there and go Man, that really hurt. Like yeah. that really sucked. Yeah, that that's hurt my true. feelings. Someone called me out. They were rude to me. Experience, and that hurts my feelings. Shit, I've done that. Yeah, and I've done that to people too. That yeah. probably didn't feel so great, you know. And so that's, I guess, probably one of the easiest ways. My parents would always try to remind me of like, just put yourself in someone else's shoes and see how they feel. It's like, and oh, you can huh. say that all you want until it actually like happens. Happens, then you're like, oh, correct. Until you actually personally feel it. I so. like those. That's a good. I know. Good girl code this was actually this came from some gynecologist on tiktok and you know what she also said too Hmm. um she was talking about you know you're down hair stairs or you're down downstairs hair hair. wow you're downstairs hair yes there we go love it (laughs) (laughs) she She made an accent yeah (laughs) she was saying if it's really long and like so i don't know if if you use female hygiene products like summer's eve or uh, at, no, I've heard they're bad for you, but yeah, that's what she was saying. And I never use these things either because yeah. I never had, had to worry about. It. But she was saying basic soap and water, right? And like just on the outside, not on the inside. Um, but sometimes even just water sometimes because it says that your, you know, your vagina is a self cleaning machine. Yeah, it does it itself. It doesn't need any additional help. And it comes from inside. So what you eat, lots of bread. And lots that's of what carbs, she said too. Is like yeah. eat very healthy, drink a ton of water because the more water you have, the more the better the better it cleans, the less bacteria mm-hmm. build up and everything. Um, and if you do happen to have a lot of hair down there, she said hair does you know collect scent and you sweat down there. So go ahead and like sh- use a nice little light shampoo and shampoo the hair. There you and go. And that's because if you're worried about the smell, Summer's Eve isn't going to help the 
like the smell is actually going to make the bacteria build up worse and yeah, make yeah. the smell worse. So she was just yeah. saying just use a simple shampoo Love it. and sleep naked okay. mm-hmm. mm. so that it airs it out or in like light cotton or like light silk, but something light. It's so nothing restrictive. Okay. Um, so it like keeps it nice and airy. Um, and there was other girls too asking about Summer's Eve or there's this new one, Honey Pot. Have you heard of it? Honey Pot. Apparently it's called, I think it's called Honey Pot, but it was, it became over age and like very big online because it's an all female brand made by oh, a right. female and then they oh, introduced yeah, yeah. it to, the, they, yeah. I think they introduced it to Target. But anyway, it's all apparently all natural, but they were saying you don't need any of that stuff. Like the female market uh, for whether it's hygiene products, whether any type of products is so inflated. We think we need all these things when a well, lot of times they, it's so simple. A lot of women's products prey on our insecurities instead of like the facts of the basic human anatomy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, for sure. Like smell, things like this come from what you eat and how you take care of your body drinking water not eating a lot of yeasty stuff like Mm -hmm. that's going to eliminate all of that stuff like if you think that you can douche and get rid of stuff it's just going to come back the next day if you're eating the same drinking the same taking care of yourself the same so have you done a douche before no i haven't either and it's so funny because i remember just the first time i heard known it was douche or douche bag i was like what the fuck is this yeah and i googled it and i was like such a weird thing it's like so ingrained in our like vernacular right i know but like when you actually think about what it is like who fucking thought it's that a vagina that was like cleaner. a dude <laughs> that is like a piece of shit right we call him the bag the that bag the, fucking the douche vagina does. juice is like <laughs> <laughs> very right? strange like what right? the fuck yeah so you know would be happy with that with a segue like that uh-huh felix gray really they sure quick. would they sure <laughs> would before we get into the broette of the week which is brought to you by felix gray glasses yeah felix gray that's g-r-a-y by the way not g-r-e-y um felix gray glasses dot com slash broettes these are blue light blocking glasses some of the best i would say the best in the business i've tried a bunch of different mm-hmm. brands like i've done like the differ and like the cheap Amazon. ones from Amazon yeah, yeah. and I want to like have cute glasses that are actually good for blue light they do neither they don't look cute and you can see the blue light tint in them these Correct. are really cute really well made um and they actually don't have like any tint to them so you're mm-hmm. like oh shit are they these look real. but it will you will see the difference if you use them when you're watching your devices it will help with the circadian ry- rhythm so you know how we're all looking at our phone before mm-hmm. we go to bed and then we can't fucking sleep well this that is because of this blue light that's like making gets into our brain and actually makes us feel like it's daylight did you know that and yep. then we're like, oh, we're trying to go to sleep while we just like got out of the sun. It's fucking really weird. I love how invested you are in that part. In that, like you're, yeah, because I Cause do it all are, the time. Yeah, no, I know. And then I can't sleep, and you're I wonder like, why I, I need. This? To, yeah, I know. This is crazy. Yeah, I wonder why I have to fucking smoke a bunch of weed and take Nyquil <laughs> and fucking. Because I'm like, if you just put the phone down uh, or you wear these glasses, by the way. Yeah. Um, so go to felixgrayglasses.com slash broettes, B-R-O-E-T-T-E-S. You're going to get free shipping. That's huge right now. It is. Shipping is actually insane. Yeah. Get rid of the headaches. Get rid of like blurry eyes. Get rid of not being able to sleep. I promise you this. these will make a difference. So who do we have for our broette of the week? This came from Jonathan on IG at Buick 0067. Whoa. He said, Hello. Hi. Uh, he said, hey, brats. I love the podcast. You ladies are hilarious. I'm definitely a guilty pleasure listener as Thanks. a dude. Thanks. I love that. I think a lot of them. I know. We do. Don't really tell anybody, but they but do listen. He, yeah. He's like, I haven't missed an episode yet. Um, so I have a broette of the week nomination. Annalise Lane. Um, she's one of my favorite humans. She's a paramedic for our country as well as a medic in the Idaho National Guard. Um, she's always been a complete badass, college pole vaulter, volunteer firefighter, and always chasing the next challenge. Damn. Shit, a few dude. years ago, um, in the Boise Police Special Operations Unit, officers were ambushed doing a yard to yard search for a dangerous fugitive. Um, both officers were actually shot. Anytime the SWAT unit is called, out um tacmed tacmed responds you know pretty well annalise and her husband were on the team that day uh they responded to in a bearcat 
which is usually they have like ambulance on standby for transport. However, due to the high call volume in the area at the time, there was no ambulance available. So she loaded the officers um, in their rig and provided care ultimately that saved their life. Right. So it basically didn't have any of the tools that she needed and just and just made it happen, improvised and made it happen and saved their lives. So, um, yep, she delivered them to safety. So basically, she's just an amazing person and he gets the privilege to work with her at the guard and also with on calls um, at the fire department. So she's always looking for the next opportunity to do something that makes a difference. Annalise. Annalise. Yeah. So he goes, cheers, ladies. Thanks for being awesome. Thank you, Jonathan, and thank you, Annalise, for being a fucking badass and the epitome of broette of the week. Um, This was fun. It was, like, very girly. It was. I love when we do, like, a badass girl episode, right? Listen, and we know we're just trying to hook hook each other up. Look. It's always good for us to talk to each other, remain truthful with one another, be honest, just be direct, like, girls, let's... I love a sit. Out. I love a sit down too. You know, a lot of girls don't love a sit down. Like, let's get together and sit down. You got a problem? Let's sit down. Yes, let's it's talk. It's a Jersey thing, like <laughs> a sit down. Right? Yes, sit down doesn't always mean we're gonna sit down and have a good time. It means we're gonna sit down and we're gonna hash it out, whatever Correct. it is. Yeah, let's get to the bottom of it. I would love if everybody would just do. I know. Uh, and get your fucking ass off my fucking dm right fucking talking shit why'd you all granny on me i love it because i'm a curmudgeon about it by the way you guys went crazy in response to the big to energy lady boner shirts yeah so those will be available friday Friday. uh we'll drop them at 2 p.m okay perfect so you guys are all ready 2 p.m eastern standard time they'll be on the website americanheart.co you guys can find it on Instagram. It's basically just my website. They will all be there. And we have, and how depending on how well those do, we can do more colors. We can do crop tops. I got crop tops we'll sitting around. Goes. Like, you know like, what I mean? Because yeah. people are asking already, like, yeah. what else? We can do hats. We're just, we're doing little bits at a time. Yeah. So we're seeing how much you guys want it. Yeah. But anyway, we're excited. We we're love excited. them. We got wine all over them today, so. You'll see that video, too. (laughs) We love you guys. We do. We love each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, we do. We're so wholesome. (laughs) Bye, guys. (laughs) Enjoy. Wait, that's from the beginning. You don't say enjoy at the end. Enjoy. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Enjoy. Enjoy. We should have said enjoy at the beginning. What the fuck ever. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't show better things to do. Yeah, go buy some fucking shoes.